Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Neck. We've got live tournament action coming at you right now. We are in the semifinals of tonight's Let It Ride tournament. That is on 7, 9, 11. Super excited for this matchup. Actually, you know what? I'm, uh, you know what? I, I've got Shakoi here. Shakoi, I'm going to complain for just a minute. Go ahead. We have got so many Zerg vs. Zerg in our semifinals and, and finals these days lately. It's just been Zerg, 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 Zerg. How does that make you feel? Terrible. Uh, I hate, I know, I, I strongly hated <laughs> Terran, but, you know, I, I'm i starting to hate Zerg as well. <laughs> but these guys are really, really good, and so I am sure that they will give us the show that we deserve. We will see. Only time can tell. Only time can tell. Should be fun to watch. And look, at, I love the timing, how, how everything is so symmetrical in the Zerg vs. Zerg on this map. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is just is so symmetrical for just a little while. <laughs> yes, it has to be. Yeah, that's true. It does have to be for just a little bit. Yes, Des, I hate Terran. <laughs> Des. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that I hate it, I despise that race of people. But you're cool. I just wish you would wake up from the nightmare that you live in and play something besides Terran. <laughs> well, we're trying to talk you into playing Terran right now, so that's the that's the big trick right there, isn't it? I'll never go to the dark side. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, man. I can see you now winning, like, one of the biggest tournaments ever playing Terran. That's, it just, and I'm gonna re since this is recorded, we will come back and reference this video. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably be a decent Zerg player, but I just don't have the patience for it. Yeah. I'm a good harasser. I could see myself throwing mutas and, and other things. I'll go muta ultralisk. <laughs> there you go. That's a great combo. Well, not a lot going on right now. Um, in the game, they're just kind of just... Just looks like droning up, getting ready for uh wow. So Air's got a early uh early roach. Early roach. Alright, so there's our first real tech. So we're going to have a Zergling speed versus a roach build. Mm -hmm. mm. That could be interesting. Um it's gonna come down I think to how quickly timeout can figure out that uh he's gotta start teching. Looks like he's headed out across the map with quite a few Zerglings, though. He's got two, four, and six kind of in a train there, cruising out, going up the ramp now. So he will scout this Roach tech here right away, I believe. I think he's just using that transition into Roach because he just had his Roach more in the start being built. So. Yeah. Yep, there it is, sure enough. All the scouting that anybody could ever care for. That's the one thing about Zerg is in a Zerg vs. Zerg matchup is it's easy to scout your opponent when you have Zergling speed. <laughs> Definitely. Hmm. And Zergling speed just now completing for timeout, so very, very good there. There goes his expansion. So he's going to be a little bit ahead of uh, timeout. Yep. That's just so interesting to see, you know, you have one game where one player is clearly better, uh -huh. and then you see him in the next round, and now it's like, okay, well, this other player is pretty good too, so now that player doesn't seem as good, you know? Yeah. Because timeout was very, very methodical with his, his defense against Yuna. Yep. And, you know, now he's kind of he's kind of ahead, but he's kind of behind at the same time because that's a lot of roaches. Yep. Yes, it is. But he is looks like he's going to be sticking with one base play here. He is going for an evolution chamber. Oh, no, he's not. There goes the ha hatchery right away. As I say that, isn't that perfect? <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Got to love it. Very good timing. But evolution chamber on the way for timeout. Let's see what we've got here for air. No Evo yet. His expansion, however, is about to be complete. Looks like we are going to see probably some mass roach here for a while from both play both players, though. Mm -hmm. 
going straight for missile attack level one for timeout. But you, I mean, you can see this methodical nature, I think, still here with timeout. But like you say, it does, it appears to be slightly behind in a lot of respects. Oh, look at this. Wait until his opponent's moving out across the map, goes in and gets the snipe on that queen. Very, Ooh. very good job. Wow. Time out. That is interesting to see. So a little bit more harassment style when he's playing a ZVZ. Now that's interesting. And then he's going to send uh, send his guys back to do defense. Yep. Wow. Yeah, air going to be definitely getting cleaned up here for just a moment. He's streaming more units across the map right now, so I'm wondering if he is actually going to try and stick with this attack here for a moment. I don't know if that's a great idea, though. It looks like timeouts should be able to hold this off in pretty decent style. I agree. Yeah, he's definitely at a roach disadvantage now, which is not the position you want to be in. But he's just streaming so many units, though, so... Yeah, he's really committing. He might actually have this, honestly. Yeah, now he's got a roach advantage, just switching a little bit back and forth here. Going to be getting the snipe on this hatchery. I think that just comes down to micro. I mean, it just wasn't very good micro on those remaining units. Yeah. Nope. Oh, wow, and timeout tossing out the GG, my goodness. Air really, really committing to that attack, and it did end up paying off in the end. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys here in just a little bit. And don't alt-tab. Always alt-Starcraft.